I've got this bamboo desk from Ikea. It costs about $80 and I want to paint it. So I just want to update it and give it a fresh look. I've had this desk for many years now and it seems kind of pointless to replace the same desk with another one that's exactly the same. It's just at the end of its shelf life, so I think I could give it an extra few months at least, or a few years, we'll see. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to paint this black. So I have these IKEA legs. These are probably around $5 a piece at the time I bought them. I chose the bright blue color because it's bright, it keeps me awake, it's just like an accent color I had, but now it doesn't really match some of the furniture I've been moving around, so I do want to paint these as well. I'm probably going to sand this because it's got like a laminate or some kind of coating or something on it but when you sand it it's going to help the paint adhere to the wood this is bamboo wood here you can see there is a crack from a spill that i had a long time ago and i filled it with some wood filler I'm not sure if it's the right kind of wood filler but it seems to have worked for now I taped down some craft paper so I'm not going to damage the floor. This is the paint that I'm going to be using. So this is the paint that I'm going to be using. It's called Varathane Ultimate Wood Stain in the color Ebony. It says it's going to achieve one color coat in an hour. And then it tells you how much square feet it's supposed to cover, which is kind of cool. So I've turned this table upside down and I'm just laying it flat. I'm going to take off the legs and unscrew them. Then I'm going to do uh, some sanding. So I'm going to try a very light first layer, see how it looks. I'm not sure what the wood is like underneath, but you can kind of have an idea here. This chips very easily but I think it'll be fine if I just get the first light layer I feel like I've used similar type of paint before I think it'll work So this here is the original color that was under the legs and this is the color after years in the sun. What surprised me is that this is the bottom of the desk so it seems like even with this being underneath the sun still gets somehow to the bottom or it's absorbing sunlight or UV rays or what. So. That's something interesting to know, but it's not a big deal, honestly. Look at that. After probably I've had this desk for eight years, that's not too bad. So this is a 60 grit sandpaper sheet. I have quite a few of these and I just purchased these at Dollarama. Super easy to find. So hopefully this works. I don't see why it wouldn't. So I have many sheets. So I hope you can tell where I've sanded this. It's a super hot day, so I don't think I want to go out and buy more sandpaper. This is all of the sandpaper. I kind of went through little parts here. So let's open the paint. This works. 
this. I can hit some of it. I made a little air vacuum suction noise. So I've got it open. This is the color. And I'm gonna stir it with a chopstick. Looks okay. I'm gonna do the bottom side first and use a smaller brush that I'm gonna start with just to test and see how it's sticking on. So I'll just use a little bit. And of course I'm gonna change the brush because I don't have all day, so. I'm gonna use the big brush. See, I'm already making a mess here and I have a wet cloth nearby in case I get some of it on the wooden floor because my goal today is not to stain the floor it's to stain this it almost looks like a lacquer like it's a little bit wet right now so I don't know what it's looking like when it's dry got the edges there so it's been an hour and I feel like it's dried a little bit. It's dry-ish, but it's definitely still on the sticky side. Here, watch. Still sticky. I think it's okay for at least starting a second coat, but I kind of don't mind the brush strokes. I am gonna do second coat, so I want this to be fully black, but I don't mind that there's a little bit of brush stroke in it to make it, give it a little bit of character if you want it. So I've got my brushes sitting in a bag, a little plastic bag, to keep them from drying while I'm doing this in between coats. All right, second coat, let's go. So the one hour coat, it wasn't fully dry as I showed earlier. If you really want to paint on a smoother surface for your second coat, I recommend waiting longer than two hours for the specific brand. Because here you see that this desk has an angle, when I turn it over to paint the top side, I don't want the drip to pour down. I'm probably going to put painter's tape all around the bottom before I paint the top side once it's fully dry. Hopefully that will prevent the drips from making a mess and me having to repaint it a third time and flipping it over. Next morning, it's fully dried now. So I flipped it upside down and as you can see, some of the color bled through to the underside. And it's actually still a little bit wet because it didn't get the ventilation it needed to air dry. So for the future, if you're painting a wooden plank, it's good to have it a little bit raised off the ground. The bottom side is perfectly dry by now and it did take a little bit longer because there's still uh, coating of whatever was on it before. So excited to finally get the top side done and have my table back to you. I've taped the edge with some masking tape. I don't know where my painter's tape went. I'm not gonna go looking for it right now. The masking tape was right in front of me, so I just used it. So I just wanna make sure that it's fully sticking.
paint the legs as well. So here I've kind of taped around the sides. So I'm painting them upright. I'm not gonna paint the gray part because then gravity happens and it's gonna drip down and leave like here. You can see it's kind of starting to leave a pool. I think this paint will stick onto the metal. I just think that it's going to take longer to dry as well. paint the metal base so it's not clunky here with big drips of paint it's pretty much almost dry you can see here this can be touched up <laughs> 